What up, fuck us? And welcome to the FB and Goob Show. I'm FB. I'm the Goob. Sponsored by the Good Time Tavern of Livermore, California. How's the Goob? Uh, the Goob is happy to be a Californian today. As you should be. As I should be, yes. Yeah, why not? Beautiful day. Lovely evening. Um, it was. This is a nice night. Yeah. It's not a miserable night in California. It's not a hot night. Not an nope. air conditioning night. Nope. Nope. There's nothing I can complain about right now. Nothing's on fire. Everything's great. Yosemite's on fire. Is it? Yeah. It's kind of on fire. Damn. I'm going camping on Thursday. Damn. Close to it, but more north than where the fire is, I think. So I think I'm going to be okay. All right. I'll stay, stay safe. I checked out five days of bears and... We're going deep this time. We're not going camping. Damn. Dude, don't make up our fucked up list for next week. Right. The fucked up thing. Scotsman fights bear. <laughs> <laughs> what? The fuck? Oh, man. Man. If that's not a movie already, it should be. Yeah. I got a big patch on my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hello, everybody, and welcome to the FBN Goop Show. <laughs> yeah, what's the fucked up thing? Looks like you. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, I mean, unless there's a, a child attack or something, then. I might have to fight the bear off, but... <clears throat> well, I think you'd win. I, the bear better run. The bear better run. Uh, if it's one of my kids, he better beg for his life. Um, so, yeah, no. <clears throat> Other than that, no, California's beautiful. Yeah, no, I was thinking. You know, we'd go right from what's good about California... But that's what... It, to some kind of, like, messed up things. I know uh, we're going to head towards our fucked up thing of the week. A couple of them didn't make it. What's that? Uh, Heinz Field... And uh, Pittsburgh has been, oh, yeah. the right's been sold to uh, Accu <laughs> something, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Hinesfield forever. And Hinesfield forever. And it's like Candlestick. Guy said, said the same thing. It's like Candlestick. It's like Candlestick forever. Oh, yeah. The Pittsburgh fans are all over it. Forget about it. And it's just a waste of money. We're just going to call it Hinesfield anyway. Still the Washington Redskins to me. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, it's been the Washington Redskins for 100 years. What's its name now? The Commanders. Yeah, so I'm gonna stick with the stick with the Steelers fans. Just keep going to Heinz Field, nope. you know. <laughs> nope, just gonna call it football stadium. The football stadium. <laughs> football stadium. I'm call it. I call it where the Steelers play now. <laughs> I'm not gonna give. Where Where are we going? Where the Steelers play? What's the name of the field? Where the Steelers play? Where the Steelers play. Like who's on second? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you hear me the first time? I said it to you guys. So we're we're field going to where the Steelers play. What's the name of it? It's where the Steelers play. <laughs> <laughs> They're like the Washington Commanders. They just, they just went stupid. They did. So, <laughs> so we'll see. Just now the the Washington Commanders. No, the, the the Pittsburgh Football Stadium. Right. <laughs> That's what it should be called. That's nice. a, yeah. What are we gonna call it? The Pittsburgh Football Stadium. That's it. That's it. Uh, that's the. It'll get one year of that. That's what I'll do for one year. Totally. Instead of calling it the next name, I'm gonna call it the Pittsburgh Football Stadium. And then people are like, why are you doing that? I'll be like, because Washington Redskins just called their team the Washington football team for a year. Right. <laughs> so I just called that stadium the Pittsburgh football stadium for a right. year. I don't like how they got rid of it. They should have yeah. stuck with it. Someone's going to take advantage of that and call themselves, you know, the stadium or the team or something. You better not take advantage of it from this fucking show. What are you talking about? Somebody, if, ne if next week the Packers go, yeah, we're calling it the um, <laughs> Green Bay Packers football field, I'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Some paper I fucking or a camera somewhere? Are you fucking kidding me? No, that would be no, funny. They're watching. <laughs> they're, oh, they're watching. They're watching. They're watching on the camera you're not using on your computer right now. Speaking of spooky things that are watching, at the Good Time Tavern, you know, Halloween's a big deal. I love it. It's the best part. The good time if you want to go somewhere for Halloween, the Good Time Tavern in Livermore, California is the spot for you. Completely. So anyway, Completely. we have the dolls, which are, you know, just a minor part of the show. That's the oldest part of the show, but yes, Correct. just a minor part of it. And they're all spooky and, you know, <laughs> sitting in jars and stuff. Jars and shit. So anyway, like 30 of these type spooky things rolled up on a Texas beach. And what had to be like the weirdest, like, I don't know, tide shift or whatever you want to call tide it. Shift. <laughs> Somehow. The tide shifted. All these fucking scary <laughs> dolls showed up. So we're kind of hoping the tide never shifts again. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what do you mean, tight yeah, ship? No, I don't like, like a, wherever they were going before, <laughs> I need them to keep going that way. Sounds like more like crash ship. <laughs> <laughs> that had scary dolls. Scary dolls, crash ship. <laughs> From China. Right. <laughs> so, a, but still frightening as hell. <laughs> I mean, I figured I'd let you know. 
I mean, because you, you enjoy. I love spooky Halloween. Stuff. That's the spooky were, uh, life, part of my life. The crabs coming the crabs. out, coming out of the eyeballs with these dolls and stuff. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Each his eyes looking at you through it. Imagine yeah. taking the kids to the beach that day. Just go on down to the water, guys. Daddy's gonna set up the shit. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what the Scarred fuck? for life. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> you want to go to the? You want to go trick or treat? Nuh-uh. <laughs> One scary doll. Nothing Don't ever know. again. Hey, listen, I'll tell you what. Like, There was this movie when I was a kid called Magic. It was about a little ventriloquist doll. And after that, I did not like ventriloquist dolls. <laughs> Even before Chucky? Oh, way before Chucky. Way like, before Chucky. Like, not, yeah, but yeah. Same sort of like, you know. Not way before Without Ch- the strings. Not way before like, Chucky, because if you went original Chucky, that was a fucking long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when the original Chucky come out? I don't know. We I don't were know. little. I was in high school or something, or maybe like grade school or shit. I don't know, like the original Chucky? I don't know. Long time ago. Long time ago. <laughs> Magic, though, was like a little bit. I was, I like, Magic happened before I was born. And then I caught it on like one like episode on t- fuck me up. It scared the shit out of me. I was like, hmm. I don't want to ever see one of those little dolls. Neither, neither do I. <laughs> no. No. Nope. Fuck no. I like, I Might not even watch the show. Fuck, although it sounds interesting. Fuck Crujo, but <laughs> <laughs> little fucking Ventroca doll stand up and start punching you in the face. You like, right. <laughs> scare the shit out of you. I'll beat the shit out of the dog. <laughs> I'm running from the little puppet. <laughs> Right? Absolutely. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, man. Little puppet stand up. And just... <laughs> right, I'm out. Powers that I don't want to mess with. Nope, not interested. That's funny. I'm like, fuck yeah, that Aaron Rodgers' witch powers and things like blue that. Sky. <laughs> blue sky. Blue sky powers. She's blue or some shit. No, I don't know. No, she's just... <laughs> not sky. She's of the earth, though. I don't know. Blue. Anyway. Oh, she's definitely of the earth. <laughs> Part of that shit. Floats to her. So I had to settle on one uh, fucked up thing. All right. Fuck this. For the, for the week. For the week. The one. So this is. I the, thought the last one was great. It was. That one was really fucked up, actually. But this one's more about the canceling of fun, and uh, unfortunately uh, involves your team. It is fun. The though. Dodgers. That is stupid, actually. Yeah. The dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. It's stump. Go. Ah, fuck. Em. Tell them. Yes, my boy. Uh, about it. My boy Roger Owens has been slinging peanuts <laughs> literally at Dodger Stadium for forty years, mm-hmm. behind the back, under the legs. You know, makes the peanuts dance. Making children smile. Making kids happy. Entertaining. Yeah. Entertaining. And so recently they've banned his tossing of peanuts. He must pass them down the row so everyone gets COVID. He's the Sammy Davis. <laughs> wow, I was going to fucking come up with some real cool name for him. I was going to call him the Sammy Davis Jr. of peanut throwing. And you have brought fucking COVID into this. You have passed, it up. You have passed the peanut to every human being. And I, now I've got my peanuts, and now I'm in a hospital on a ventilator. Fuck. All because we can't have a guy. Because a guy stuff can't just end. give me my peanuts from him to me. Right, and have fun with it. And have fun with it. Make my kid smile, and I only have one contact between yeah. peanut to man. Cancellation of fun. I'm all against that. Uh, I'm against. Well, yeah, I'm against that leaving the Dodger Stadium. We do have hope, though. We have hope. Yeah, we do have hope, right? You, you brought that. What, yeah, what is that? Yes, yeah, so this is the third time they've tried to ban this guy from tossing his peanuts, which sounds way weirder than it is. It's in the middle, everybody. <laughs> That's where it is. So, yeah, in the 70s and 80s, they tried to ban this guy again. And he has survived. Is that for polio or... No, no, just for the tossing of peanuts. SARS? Just for the old peanut tossing. Eyeballs? <laughs> what happened? Why? Uh, oh, fran- fan protests. Fan protests. So if you don't think we're going to get a little what? kickback Angels, from this. Angels fans didn't fucking like it? Like, oh, fuck, <laughs> fan protest, my ass. Douchebag fan. Well, that's how we're going to get him back. The fans. If this doesn't come back, I'm right. Baseball's out of here. Because it's not for the fucking fans anymore. So if this doesn't come back and you can't fucking throw peanuts anymore, <laughs> then then it's not for you anymore. It's it's for the politically correct and the globally structured. I don't fucking know. It doesn't exist anymore then if it's not for the fucking fans because it's boring as hell. Boring. So if you don't shoot a shirt at me or throw a bag of peanuts at me or offer me a multi with a fucking wooden spoon, I'm leaving. So, I want right. Yeah, I definitely want a t-shirt shot of me. There was three fucked up things. We should just do a show of how fucked up this world is. 
We but let's do sports maybe, of the week. Maybe a midweek show one time. <laughs> we'll once, a once a week we'll do. We could just go fucked up. I felt like we could have ran with that. Right now that we figured out the Zoom thing, maybe we'll just say, "Hey, what's yeah, up? Just, what, let's Dude, do you, Zoom. Fuck you. That's just, what it's called. It's called just, the <laughs> Fuck You Show." Um, no, let's just do baseball because that's uh, sports of the week. Yeah, news of the week, starting with the baseball. Yeah, we should start with baseball. We should start with baseball because I'm 12 up on the Giants. Yeah, man, it's been a rough couple of weeks for the Giants. We can't beat teams that aren't even trying to make the playoffs, really. It's kind of embarrassing. Can't score runs. Um, yeah, you can keep dancing. I'll talk about how bad it sucks here. Well, what else we got? Um, well, you know, at least we know that you are losing depth. You've, you've had you've had some injuries. Disco Inferno. Some, some guy named Taylor's hurt for you or something. Yeah, Taylor. <laughs> Somebody's hurt for Taylor. Somebody's hurt. Sixteen All Stars on the bench. Who's hurt? Taylor. Yeah. Put in, put in the other Taylor. Though. Yeah, Trey. <laughs> Trey Turner's hit home runs. And yeah, for the last three days or whatever. Hey, Trey's hurt. So put in the other third baseman. <laughs> right. Who's the superstar behind him? Um, Jacques. <laughs> Jacques. <laughs> Calling Jacques to the third base. <laughs> He'd be there. Yep. I mean, when are we getting Mike Trout? Not happening yet. I thought we were gonna. Are we gonna get the pitcher from the Reds? What's his name? Castillo. <laughs> yeah, Hundred miles Wouldn't hurt. That wouldn't hurt. No, I hope we get him. Yeah, it'll be a minute. That's fine. That's Which fine. is fine. We gotta get Long to. The, we gotta get to next Tuesday at least. Yeah. We gotta have the All Star game. Are we gonna watch the All Star game and then do the show? Probably something. So like barbecue. That. Barbecue All Star game. Riggy, barbecue, all star game. <laughs> Maybe we should do it during. Yeah. Anyway. No, that's the only baseball game that's fun. It is fun for a while. Lots of studs. Yeah, that's the only baseball game I like. Who's pitching next? The other guy, who's really good. Oh, right. right. He also throws 100 miles an hour. Yeah, he also throws 100 miles an hour. So Sweet. It's 900 mile an hour pitchers, and it's 36 of the best hitters in baseball. You can't really ask for much more as far as, like, one on one, baseball. I mean, basketball. The, the like game. the basketball all star game is like a hundred and ninety eight to two hundred and fourteen of I'm gonna alley you, you <laughs> slam dunk it, and then the other team <laughs> cheers for us. <laughs> right. I mean, that's like what the fuck? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. I mean, like LeBron tossed it to toss the uh, AD, and AD slammed it, and then Kevin Durant, who was in the other team, went. Yeah, that was a nice slam, man. Like, and then they threw a damn, and he and then, turned around and, and dug then he, it. I'm reverse it. slammed it, and then they went, nice slam, buddy. <laughs> and then they run down the court, and then Kyrie Irving throws to oh, sorry. So uh, uh, John Wall throws to ah fuck, I shouldn't say John Wall. This is just fucking around. <laughs> I no. mean, I just like that's just I uh, know. I listen next All Star game. So, so Dodgers, we're killing seven and a half up on the Padres. Yep, we're killing it. There's a... Uh, Fuck, it's on? Yeah, it's on. So you're going for the Padres now, right? We're just chasing the Padres down. Hoping Manny Machado chills out a little bit. Because he's on fire. No, nah, Manny's good, man. Manny's, Manny's good, man. Manny's a, Manny's a trout. He's a trout, trout dash. Yeah, he's had a couple down years. For his standards, which is good for everybody else. Shit. But yeah, so... So, I mean, the rest of baseball, we're talking... Everything kind of is holding for him. The Yankees, the only team with 60 wins. Yeah. The Astros are still on fire. Um, let's see, who's the other team? Oh, yeah, the Dodgers, of course. Well, I'm actually with the Yankees. This is the honest truth. I'm not counting I'm not counting how many. I'm counting to the 20 mark now. How many? When will they be 20 ahead of the next team? You know what I mean? Right. When will they be 25 ahead of the next team? I'm not even looking at it anymore. I'm just waiting for the word. I'm just waiting for number 20. Is what I'm looking for. That's that's what I'm. The Orioles nine and one hey. in the last ten games. Probably tripled their win percentage or uh, win total. They're like the lowest. They're like, I mean, they're, they're still not good. No, they're terrible. So for them to be nine and one, I'm like, damn, you're. I mean, they're in the Yankees division, so that's not fair. But <laughs> I mean, I mean, for they're 19 back, and and the next best team is 14 back. So. Yeah. yeah, that's just because you lost every series against the Yankees so far. That's yes. it. Yeah. So, but 9-1 in the last, but they're still 19 back. I mean, I, I, you know, I have some teams that I'm thinking about the Dodgers could trade with. The A's, the Nationals, and the Orioles are also in the 
Sure. But nine and one. Nine and one. It's, it's fun to win every once in a while. It is fun to win every once in a while. Sure, time. Baltimore is excited about that. Nine and one in the nine last ten. Uh, uh, Mets only a game and a half. A game and a half ahead of the Braves. Oh, man. That's fucking hilarious. Braves are coming. I mean, we called it in like the when they were 10 ahead or something. It was like, don't, you know what? I don't trust the Mets. Oh, it's happening. A game and a half. The Mets are going to be in second place next week. When we. <laughs> Come the All Star break. The All Star break, we might. The, the Mets might have been 11 ahead, and then the All Star break tied. Let's go tied. I, we, I believe tied. I mean, it's not going to be I, good for the Mets either way. Oh, no. And, and this is the best part about it, when Scherzer came back, they were like three or four games. Scherzer lost, Scherzer, he lost <laughs> his first game, which he just, he pitched well, and then the guy behind him came in. And boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Fuck, we lost that game. Shit, God damn it. You know, so, I, yeah. Mets. Weird things are happening in Mets. Well, in the AO, the Twins now are, are three, point, the three and a half ahead of the uh, Guardians. That one is starting to shift a little. Right, yeah. Cool. As the Dodgers shifted against the Padres and the, and the Giants, now the Twins are shifting a little towards the 5-6. Yep. We're Get having, a little... We're having some trouble in Cleveland. A little... Our uh, Guardians aren't, uh, aren't hitting very well. Well, they've never... I mean... The, we're we're very young, too. Youngest team in baseball. Oh, that's good. It's hard to expect Cleveland to stick with... Which I think, I think is a decent Minnesota team. No, I think the Twins are ex- an excellent team, and I think I think they're getting where they they should be. Five. Buxton, he's fun. Yeah, right. So, yeah, I mean, baseball has got a long way to go. Right. We are only halfway. Well, we're a little little past halfway. The- halfway. So we should do a uh, our MVP and Cy Young picks for halfway through. Yes. All right. I'm just gonna give you a few real quick. Starting in the National League, MVP. We have to start in St. Louis. We have to pick a guy. It's either Goldschmidt or Arenado. They're both crushing the ball. So it's going to be one of those they split the vote things, but they're both deserving. Manny Machado, who I talked about earlier, uh-huh. is yeah. definitely on this list. And I think uh, I think when it heats up in Atlanta, Austin Riley's going to end up putting up 45 home runs, leading the NL in home runs. That's he's he's my pick. So you're 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 picking Austin Riley. I'm picking Austin Riley to win it in the end. I was gonna go Goldschmidt. Sounds easier. Just, Goldschmidt. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. I mean, you could if Mookie Bet stays healthy, that's yeah. a good possibility. You know what? After he came back from the injury and he just psh, took right back off again. All right. So I mean, if, if, maybe if, Gonsolin. <laughs> what happens if Aaron Trout? comes to the Dodgers. Aaron Judge and Mike Trout become a one no, unified Mike, person. Uh, no. That yeah, would be what crazy, bro. Mike Trout? Six, Fuck eight, you, bro. Mike Trout with Dino. <laughs> what if Trout comes to the Dodgers? Can Bes- he, besides can he win? me crying for three days straight? I don't know. Can uh can he win the NL? Oh uh, uh no. No, his, not enough games stat, played. His stats only stick for the next eighty games. Alright. If it happened today. So, yeah, that's happened before where a couple of good players had MVP-like seasons in both leagues. They finished, like, fifth or whatever. That sucks. It does suck for them because, yeah, if they just stuck in one league, they probably would have won. Yeah, that's... that's Wish know. I could pull that up. That guy! Yeah. Thanks, Rick T. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to start my own little <laughs> petition right now here. I mean, the FBs, if, if Trout, you could be the NL MVP, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I will... If he make- had 60 home runs in the next 80 games... With the Dodgers, with the bats five, just bats a thousand. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, hey, listen, hey, baseball is fun as it is. <laughs> as fun as baseball is, like you know, basketball still has a lot going on. Okay. Skip the rest of the MVP stuff. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's right. We got yeah. some more. All right, do them. Because I was going to say Gonsolin could win the MVP, but he's definitely going to win the the Cy Young. Oh, Gosselin's a Cy Young. I mean, if he's not, we got a couple other guys out there. I mean, let's yeah, but they're like sub. Mac, Max Fried is my favorite. <laughs> I like these Atlanta guys. I don't know why, yeah. but Max Fried is like the perfect well, name. The Mets, though, it's probably Freed, but whatever. 
The Mets that, don't. Yeah, man. the Mets don't. They don't like all these fucking Atlanta guys you keep mentioning. Wait, wait, Max fried for Sanya. Okay, Max, uh, no, no. The Dodgers guy is lights out right now. Um, he'll do rest him. Yeah, the manager will for sure. That dude <laughs> shuts everybody down. That'd be a bad idea. That one time they shut Aaron Rodgers down, we didn't win the second Super Bowl. <laughs> That's a bummer. That is a bummer, right? <laughs> like, what the fuck, Mike? You're a retard. Fair so, enough. I'm just saying. <laughs> so we're going to the American League now. Uh, see, I told you. <laughs> yeah, freaking Jabroni. <laughs> yeah, Jabroni. <laughs> jo- right. uh, you know what? <laughs> yeah, well, no. I no, like Amer- that. That's the way we're going. In the American <laughs> League? MVP voting. You gotta have a judge out there. Yeah, uh, they don't talk about anything else in the American League, so. And Mike Trout and him are definitely the MVP. Just actually, that's it. it. That's the AL MVP. That's it, it's right? Aaron Trout. How about the guy that pitches and bats and. He's not having a good year, right? Shohei. Shohei, yeah. Is he? No, Shohei's killing it. He's breaking, like, ridiculous records every time he steps to the mound slash to the plate. He's really. He's going to be a fun thing to watch at the All Star game. So he's the next Babe Ruth. Yeah, he's yeah he's striking out thirteen one day, hitting two home runs the next. I mean, I think he's the first person to strike out ten, steal a base, have two RBIs, and a double or in a game or something. Wow, that's insane. It's a lot of weird stuff, and we're getting very specific. But he's got a lot of uh, a lot of metrics working his way. He's he's the real deal. So they don't have a designated hitter when he plays. Uh, yeah, no, he DHs a lot. No, but when he pitches, then he's the DH. Yes. He's the DH, yeah. As, right. as the pitcher. Well, uh, no, I mean they just don't. I mean they shouldn't. They don't put DH next to his name, do they? Yes. Why? Because pitchers can't hit anymore. Because it's a weird, weird league. Just put pitcher next to his name. He deserves it. Sure. Or a slash. Or a, a hyphen. <laughs> <laughs> it's simple. Pete. What position are you playing? Pitcher. So you're the designated hitter. <laughs> no. no. No, motherfucker. No, I'm the pitcher. <laughs> I know. I know why you keep saying designated hitter. I'm gonna I'm gonna pitch nine innings, strike out thirteen people, and you should put pitcher next to my spot on the hitter fucking page, alright, asshole? I'm sorry. Totally. Totally. And we're gonna see see all that next week. So yeah, I'd say he might be in the uh Cy Young race too, since We'll nail that real quick. Let's just make that guy the MVP. Could happen. Let's just do it. It's, it's one of those things where he's, if you like him, you really like him. But if you think he's a pitcher, I don't know. It's, it's disturbing to think about. Well, I might think. I'm pretty open-minded. What does he do again? <laughs> he does everything. Let that guy be the MVP. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Trout can't go out there and throw out 13 pitches, 13 strikeouts. He cannot. No, right? Can Aaron Judge... But throw one fucking strike? we got to remember that the Angels haven't won a game since, like, April. So, I mean, how valuable is he, really? The Dodgers. He's will, really fun, though. The Dodgers will absorb his ass right now. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, and then he'd be on a championship team. And then he could win MVP. Hey, you know what? Fair enough. You know what? I think we have found uh, another player to save. Yeah, package deal. I mean, honestly, they have, they have Mike Trout and the obvious MB fucking P of the league. Apparently. I mean. And they like, can't win anything. Yeah. And they can't win a well, game. They can't win a game. You have the two best baseball players in all of fucking baseball. What the fuck else do you have? <laughs> what are they putting in that water what, at Disney? What are you? Do you guys just get drunk every night before <laughs> you show up except for Mike Trout and the obvious MVP of baseball? They're doing push-ups and stuff. The other guys? <laughs> <laughs> no, instead of drinking the water. Oh, they're tired. That's the problem. I think I lost it there. Yeah, you did. You yeah. just, I was like, where are you going with that one? No. <laughs> they do push-ups. <laughs> and they suck. No more push-ups for you fucking assholes. <laughs> just drink the water. Just drink the water. Uh, do you have home run? and, and um... I do. It's getting exciting. All so, right. you know, AL MVP candidate Aaron Judge has 30 now. He's the, he's, yeah, Jared. So he had, what, two last, two last week, I think. He had a back spasm. Ooh, oh, there it is. Yeah, that's what that's, I said. That's what when we I heard needed. that, I said, that's what we need. That's what we needed. So our boy, John Birdie. Birdie. Up to gets tw- on base. Up to 27. Gets on base, Birdie. Woo! Gets on base, Birdie. 20. Gets on base, Birdie. Yeah, no. You got to get the base first. Yeah, unfortunately, Julio and Jorge. Down by the schoolyard still. Not stealing bases because they can't. Yeah. What'd you bet? 0 for 4. How many bases did you steal? Well, 
None. I not, didn't. Not well, I didn't. Any. I didn't get the first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, that makes sense. Right. So Birdie's our boy. Birdie's our boy. We need a guy who can hit the yep. ball and steal the ball. Three back. Steal bases. Three back. Three back. Three back is That's close for us. Not a bad place to be. That's close, right? Oh yeah. What have we been three back? We, well, we were one and a half back or we, one back. We were or? seven a while. Three. Yeah, we were a long time ago. Back. We were like, oh shit, this over. Now we're three back. Yes. Now we're back in the game. They if do. the Packers were down three, I would be like, we got a chance. They do a lot more homer guys that have chances, like Schwarber's up to 28. Right, right, right. So a lot of people, we're not worried about... up there. There's yeah, seven, We got Birdie, and that's it. That's it. We, we got, got one boy. guy against 19 John home run guys. John Birdie! Come on, John. Come on, John. That's our guy. So, yeah, that's what I have for that. And, and then, yeah, now, now it's basketball? <laughs> yeah, let's do basketball. Let's do it, man. We had Knicks Warriors. We got Knicks Warriors. Knicks one. Oh, the Warriors are going to be so good. Yeah, I know. Knicks won that game. I was so excited to think that we won against you guys. And you had, like, we had Wiseman and, and uh, Moody, 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 put up, Moody put up 32. I was like, damn. Uh, How do, I don't even know. Jericho Sims. Jericho Sims. I'm predicting you Jericho. Can the name. Jericho will be remembered. You will see highlights of Jericho this year. He physically looked like he was ready to play NBA basketball. And apparently he's talented enough. So I mean, he was a he was a rookie who stayed and played, and in the summer league this year for the Knicks, he looked like the best player. Yeah, I was searching from the guy from Duke, the guy with the chip on his shoulder because he didn't get drafted in the first round. He was well, there. Now we know why he didn't get drafted in the first round, fucko, because he ain't ready yet. He ain't ready yet. <laughs> I don't know. But like you know, it was like. Five Duke players could be taken in the first round. And then the Knicks took him in the second pick, the second round, and with third pick. And I was like, ooh, chip on the shoulder. He could have he should have been in the first round. Nope. 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 <laughs> he should not have been in the first round. He was non existent in the Warriors game. I mean I kept looking for him. I'm like, say his fucking name. And it was McBride, and it was Jericho Sims, and it was all these other names, and not Duke guy. <laughs> not like, Duke guy. Not Duke guy. I was like, God damn it. I was looking for the Duke guy. So, you know, doesn't matter. Knicks are going to trade all their picks for Spider. Oh, yeah. The Knicks are going to get Mitchell from the Jazz. I mean, he's no John Morant, but he's probably the next best thing. I think I think he's better than what we have. Well, I mean, yeah, as long as you don't get rid of all your left-handed guys. No, no. Barrett. Re- eh. <laughs> Randall might go, huh? Yeah, Randall man. might go in the trade salary wise. If you, you said to, you, if you said you gotta put Julius in a trade for Mitchell, I'd be like, Ah, Julius. Well yeah. Well only three first rounders after that. Oh no, 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 no. You're not getting we have eight to offer apparently. Some weird shit. Like we got so many other teams first rounds and we got our own first rounds and and, and we could offer up a lot of first round picks to get them. Right, but if Julius goes in the trade, then take you get you lose two. Right, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. It would be like five first rounders for him if you didn't add players. And then you got Brunson, the man. Right, the, the man. fucking man, the myth, the legend. New York you City's got, finest. <laughs> New York City's finest. And then you got actual New York City's finest, RJ Barrett, who is the next up and coming of. Oh, fuck, I don't know. Pick one. Patrick Ewing. I don't know. I don't know. We haven't had one for so long. I don't know what to say. And then, Donovan Mitchell. Who would actually become the man? And then you'd have uh, Toppin and Robinson to fill it out. Athletic front court. Yes. To go with a pretty sick-ass backcourt. Yes. So, and I, I think if the Knicks can pull that off. Make it happen, New York. Pleading that <laughs> you can do this behind Doolin's back. Maybe he's not watching the ESPN shows right now. Maybe he's senile or something, but do something special. So, I don't know, Warriors? Oh, man. So excited about the future. Just the three guys, Moody, Kaminga, and Wiseman, they're just killing it. 60% from the floor. I mean, there's been some turnover issues, but not nothing too major. It's, it's Sky's the limit for these guys. Like, we're going to go from our current three to these three, not lose a beat. Warriors might win 10 championships in the next 12 years. So, and I heard, I heard there's a lot of NBA, other NBA teams mad at the Warriors for the money they're just paying on top of the whole world. So, Right. And like I said before, Lacob's only the 14th richest owner in the NBA. So, tell your owner to spend some cash. Tell your owner to spend some money. Yep. Where's, where's Doolin fall on that list? 
I'm not sure. I hope he falls way it's down. that guy. Thanks, Ricky. That's a 30 second. I hope that's where he falls and he should sell to somebody who has some fucking money. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. The, the, I, I, the live I, golf guys. The live golf guys. I don't want to. I don't want to rip on him so much because I, I don't have any idea what's going on. But I'm still trying to figure out how I can take over the team, and he's not involved in it. So <laughs> if that if that um, if that GoFundMe page ever works out, I'll uh, I'll let you know. So uh, other than basketball, what games do we got left with balls? We got tennis. Well, we I mean, it. Lillard resigned for 120 mil. I was trying to forget about he, that. He really really likes Portland, I guess. I mean, or he just, well, I mean, I hear Portland is awesome. And if you told me I get to stay in a pretty awesome place for $120 million. It's no million, Cleveland. It's definitely not Cleveland. It's not even close to Cleveland. In fact, Cleveland's a shithole. <laughs> other than the fact that you can't pump your own fucking gas in Oregon, Portland's probably okay. Yeah, if you like rain. If you, I mean, and hippies. And hippies. Rain and hippies not that bad. No, it's a fun place. I, I've enjoyed it. Humidity, crocodiles, and rednecks. It's better than Florida. <laughs> it's better than Florida. <laughs> People keep moving to South Beach, and I'm thinking, shit, right next to you is a bunch of hillbillies, meth addicts, and crocodiles. <laughs> and gators. And damn gators. If they haven't killed anybody in a while. I'm waiting for Florida to mess up again. Yeah. Well, Maybe next week. If, if Dwayne Wade ever, who wonder, who ever wonders who stole his car, <laughs> he doesn't have any teeth, he's got a fucking mullet. Maybe a pet gator. <laughs> And he drives a fucking IROC. That's who stole your car, Dwayne. Nice. <laughs> and he's right down the fucking street. <laughs> In the Everglades. <laughs> that's where people, That's where criminals go. You know why? Because you can hide in Florida. Because half the people don't want to go to half the places that will exist in Florida. They're like, where's he live? The Everglades? Well, he can, mud live. Hut. <laughs> he can live there. <laughs> I got a mud hut. They, only only 74% nope. of those fuckers live. Sometimes. Yeah, hey, fuck that. Hey, whatever. Florida. Shut up. <laughs> Shout out to Florida. Shout out to Florida. You know what? There is a team in Florida in our next segment. In our next segment? Yeah, are we ready? No, we got Wimbledon and the Pro-Am and the Holy British Open. Holy shit, are you serious? Hell yeah, man. All right. Yep. Let's get back to it. I was all yep. excited about football, but we're going I back. Said, I said about, hey, let's just blow through these except for the Pro-Am. All right, blowing through. Yeah, let's just, I mean, what do we got? Wimbledon? Wimbledon. Jokey won. Djokovic won his seventh. Yeah. Wimbledon he, Championship, which he, is a lot. He came Pretty back impressive. from down two, I think, twice. And, like, and and was, it looked like a 24 year old. So, uh, Kyrios gave him a run, but Djokovic is just too good sometimes. Too good, man. And he was. This whole, uh, this whole week, he, or this whole two or three, two weeks. I watched two rounds in the last week and a half, and he was like, uh, You got me? No, you don't. <laughs> Fuck off. So, All yes. Right. Right on. So he won. Uh, both the Americans knocked out in the quarterfinals. Okay. Fritzy and... Uh, Fritzy, right. And, and, the, and the girl. And Ansamova. Ansamova, right. So the winner, who Russia claims is hers, but she claims Kazakhstan as her country, Elena Rybakina. Rybakima. That was the tricky name of the week. But anyway, she won. And uh, the funny thing was the Russian part. Well, either way... We claim Elena as our champion. Either way, two newspapers look good. Fair enough. One in Russia, one in Kazakhstan. <laughs> she wins for us. She hey, there you go. Us. Double win. Double win. Uh, British Open coming up. Looking good. Tiger's in it. Tiger spent a whole week with Rory, practicing, hanging, arms around <laughs> each other, playing golf. I'm feeling confident about Rory. I'm not feeling confident about Tiger. <laughs> and I love you, man. Tiger, if you get in the top ten and you're on Sunday, I will come back from camping. <laughs> Just to watch the Just final to round. Just fucking watch you fucking play. If you get to the top ten, you're two down, and he says, hey, Tiger's two down Sunday. My kids <laughs> packed the camping shit. You got to get back. Or I will find the highest fucking mountain and charge my phone, and I will stand on the highest mountain and go, oh, that's a nice shot, Tiger. <laughs> but I'm feeling good about Rory. I like it. Yeah, Morikawa? I mean, uh, Morikawa. Rory, Rory, Rory's the favorite. I would hope. Morikawa is the defending champ. I know. So Morikawa, you feel good? Do I feel good? I, I'm kind of. I'm looking somewhere else. I think this this time. No, you are you feel good about your guy that we? No, I support? do not. Do you support your guy? I support my guy. I, I Morikawa. I'm rooting for. I love Morikawa. I think. I think it's we because have you're his fan and you love him. Yes. I think we have a... Rory. Rory. 
You know what? Good call. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, let's go more Kawa. Uh, man, do it, man. <laughs> Apparently, he can play Lynx Golf because he won last year on a Lynx Golf course. Ooh, this is the old course, though. The I history. St. Andrews. St. Andrews will get you. So you know what? Yeah. You, you, get there, you just got to take a big, deep breath. Yeah. St. Andrews. One, two, three, baby. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> One, two, three, right? One, two, One, three. two three, right? Take a breath. Breath, bluff, <laughs> and bluff, you know? Yes. Totally agree. I mean, I actually had more fun watching uh, this pro am this last weekend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not saying the British Open hey, is going to be what? awesome. Took the top ten. So make fun of them all you want. Who Aaron Rodgers? Yeah. Well, I mean, besides his tattoo that his girlfriend made him get, she got the same tattoo. He's definitely a real man. Hers are lionesses, <laughs> and his are big. Lions. He he also got beat by a girl. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> wait, wait. Lots of girls can beat him in golf. Yeah, actually, yeah, Annika Soares, Sam's kind of a good golfer. Yeah. Annika it's not Sorensen. as bad as a burn, but I wasn't going to mention that. You got, who'd you get beat by in golf? She would have beat me by a 50. Annika Annika Sorensen. <laughs> oh, but you played against her? Yeah, I had no chance, actually. Actually, when we got paired together, no I went, chance. who am I playing against, some girl? I'll kick your ass. It's Annika Sorensen. Oh, shit. I'm going to lose by 30. <laughs> yeah, but it was fun. Rob Regal's there. I think we might be able to beat Regal. Oh, we may be. I mean, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. It just depends on the day. Some days I play really bad, and some days I play lights out good. Imagine so. we were on a movie set and we got to shoot three different times. I would kick We'd his ki ass. Kill him, Regal. I would kill him. Kill him, Regal. I would kill him. Bring it, Rob Regal. I would kill him. I mean, FBI I get to, I get to figure out the call. greens and chip and learn? Yeah, no. and Rob Regal just one time. You got fucking beat, Rob. I'll show you the tattoo on my calf one day. The big fucking giant <laughs> golf ball. With a picture of my ass on it. Just letting you know. <laughs> oh, bring it, Rob. Bring it, Rob. Rob Riggle. <laughs> Anytime, baby. Pick the course. I don't give a fuck. Go blindfolded. I got to take it off to hit. <laughs> but I, I, I'll i show up with it on. <laughs> so, uh, no, pro am. I was proud of Aaron. I watched Pat McAfee play, AJ Hawk play. I, I mean, like, all three Currys were playing. All three Currys. I saw Steph stick one in from 97. Ooh, he can shoot it from anywhere deep. Yeah. Little bastard. <laughs> yeah, walk on the course range. Big tall bastard. Don't look like he's meaner than me, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, yeah. Watching Curry beat his dad by like one point or whatever it was in the modified scoring system. Modified scoring system, right? It was interesting. It was always Curry and then Curry. They were there the whole weekend. And I was kind of. Steph kinda, beat the old man. Nice. I was kind of interested where McAfee finished. I, I didn't look. I like. I watched a lot Middle of like. Middle-ish. It was yeah, middle-ish. I, I, like, I watched a lot of tweets. I don't think he wears shoes and he's got a big hat. A.J. Hawk's <laughs> swing is a terrible swing. I watched A.J. Hawk's swing. I was like, A.J. should hang out with us for a day. Like, you know, like when Aaron swing, he's got that same thing where I end real high, but in the position. Oh, yeah. You know, Follow like through, I come baby. through the through, soup and I'm up there and, it, and I like I'm almost posing almost because it's like where it's supposed to be and like in the upper body turns and shit. And, and I thought, Aaron, damn, that's how I look. And then, then I watched myself. And then I watched myself and go, shit, I don't look like that. Wow. And then I watched AJ Hawk swing and I went, hoping I don't look like that's, that. That's closer. <laughs> that's closer, right? Holy shit, that was horrible. And then, but you know what was cool though? I want that microphone. I want the microphone that makes my T shot go, shwack! <laughs> For every time I'm like, how does mine never sound like that? I mean, I seen him swing. It's not even half my swing. And, and shwack! I'm like, the fuck, they put a mic next to the ball? Don't hit the microphone, fucker. Okay. Right. <laughs> Instead of just the little T markers, they just have microphones. The microphone the is the T. The yeah. micro it's in the fucking T. Or they definitely Because when he hit the too. ball, like, I watched Pat hit the ball. I'm like, yeah, it was all right. But it sounded like Tiger once hit the ball. I was like, wow. I never hit that. That sounds sound. awesome. That sounded awesome. And then I thought to myself, no, it was Pat McAfee in the tee shot. Not that fucking awesome. It doesn't, he doesn't have a 137 mile an hour slap to the ball, hit it perfect like Dustin Johnson. Why did it sound like Dustin Johnson? Apparently the microphone is in the tee or something. I couldn't fucking figure it out, man. I, madness. I, madness. Aaron Rodgers, top 10. Go, baby. RG3, finish in last place. Really? Yeah. Oh, happy. He week. beat Rob Riggle. Did he? Or it didn't be Robert. No, he didn't. He got last place. He got something. last. We're going to be Robert. All right, either way, man. It was still cool. I want to go to it. We're like fucking 10 minutes from it. It's we should. Tau. Yeah, I know. It's shithole. <laughs> no, we should go to it, though. It's going to be fun. It's like a hippie resort for poor people. Yeah, I'm down. Tau's fine. Want to so go to snowboarding? 
No. <laughs> Fucking suck my dick. <laughs> go slow. I'm Inside gonna, joke. I'm gonna never go snowboarding again. <laughs> I got, fuck you, Stone. I got six I mean, inches dude. of titanium in one shoulder and some dead guy's fucking Achilles tendon in my knee. I will never, Have ever fun. go snowboarding with you ever again. I don't give a <laughs> fuck for a million dollars. I will not go snowboarding. I mean, I'll get to snowboarding and go. It was two years of misery. I, the million dollars <laughs> won't cover the two years of fucking misery I went through of all the surgeries and all the rehabs. So, nope. Not, uh, I always forget you're half zombie. Yeah, I know. Huh? Speaking of zombies, I mean... We're talking about the, uh, are we going to do it? Did I jump ahead again? Hmm. I think we're talking about football now, right? I'm ready. AFC, so let's do it. <clears throat> right on. So, I mean, we're talking about zombie Belichick. We're talking about the Dolphins, the you Jets. You want to start the with Bills. the last team in the division? Or the no. I want to right. <laughs> start with the, the, the team you're most excited about. New York Jets. Who, yeah, all of New York is excited about. Between the second-year quarterback who's going to be great, Zach Wilson may be great. We'll see. Uh, uh, Decision. I, I think Wilson to Wilson will be something that you hear more than you want to. Mm, hopefully not. I think Jermaine Johnson will get 11, 12 sacks. As a rookie? Yes. All right. I think he could have been taken in the top 10. So, yes. I think For chip on the shoulder, first round or 10 sacks. And I think sauce, hot sauce. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Saucy Gardner. Well, it was, it should have been, a sh- I mean. What do you call Sauce Island? I don't have a punchline, but I wish I did. Like, What do you call Sauce Island? <laughs> Exhausting. Yeah, either way. I hope if, if, he, if he shows up with as much swagger as he fucking shows when he does everything else. The Jets defense, interviews, yeah. Between, between the 10 sacks on the other side and, oh shit, I threw the ball to the wrong spot. It could be 10 to 12 sacks and 3 to 5 interceptions. Which, for the Jets' defense, would be the huge, 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 huge fucking... Well, I mean, Jets have jump. Robert South. Robert South, and, and know, we talked about this. We know how he builds. Defensive line towards the back. Right. And and he has done... The, he is Robert, now getting this. Robert South has never had a cornerback supposedly like Sauce Gardner. I mean, we were, the Niners have been replying... Relying on Richard Sherman and an old yeah age. yeah old old Richard Sherman and yeah and uh, and no I mean it's obvious because your front seven has been the best front seven for five or six years yeah. I mean you know I mean we can go one team one year and another team the other year the year with Washington had a good front seven and you know the Rams had a good front seven but consistently the Niners are in the top three. No. I'd rather be consistent every year than I got it this year and I didn't get it the next year. Yeah. So, yes, I would agree with that. So, Robert Sala has now got the best cornerback he's ever had. Yes, or he does. back, I mean, safety, free safety cornerback. They stole DJ Reed from Seattle, too. Nice. A nice little uh, slot corner. Right. So, between those two guys, if they can hold their own, look like they look like they should be able to. Then we have CJ Mosley in the middle. I mean, mm-hmm. this defense has a potential to be kind of scary. I think um, in this division, they better be. Yeah, my yeah. The other teams are going to put some put up some points. Well, they might have one of the best teams in all football in the division, and then they might have have one of the most. Uh, I I think other than the Jets, who I think are have going to have a, an eight win season or a better season than they've had. They they have they have more hopes for the future. Well, they have than just, they've had in a long yeah, time. They have a lot of studs that are inexperienced, and they're going to take some lumps this year. Sure. So, so eight yeah. wins out of a seventeen-year season or a seventeen. That would that would be a good year. For that would them, be the I good think. year for the Jets, and that would be a turnaround for the Jets. It would be. So for uh, once again, my favorite team because I think move. that the Jets did the best they could this year, and and they re- Garrett Wilson, man. If if the other if the other Wilson is as good as they think they're gonna he's gonna be, Garrett Wilson's gonna just be fine. Oh yeah. I'm- I love I love that whole core. Corey Davis, Elijah Moore, Elijah Moore. I think both those guys. Garrett Wilson, I think it's a nice little three receiver. I don't so, know who's playing tight end. Uh, well, the running backs are the other story with Michael Carter, and now they get um, Breesy Hall. Breesy Hall, okay, okay, who yeah. who you know at the combine was off the charts, off the charts very right, productive right. at uh, Iowa State. Right. 
Um, so you're looking at five weapons right there with their top three receivers without even including the tight ends, which I think uh, C.J. Ozoma is who they brought oh, in. Oh, C.J. Ozoma. All right, from Cincinnati. Tight. Yeah, well, listen, that's not a – that's not – you didn't go down in tight end, that's for sure. No, yeah, so the offense has a chance. Like I said, they're young. So you want to go from the who I think won to the to the, the next good the next team that just did a great job. I mean, they have you know what? Like, and and two Niners coaches. Yeah, let's go back to the other Niners coach. Let's Mike, go back to let's go Niner coach, Niner coach. Mikey McDaniel. Mikey McDaniel. Yeah. Not McDaniel's. Mikey McDaniel. McDaniel. Yeah. I think Mikey McDaniel is way better than <laughs> McDaniel's. I don't. I think that guy's a douchebag. But that's neither here or no. Yeah, nor there. He once was an offensive genius. It's. In another Belichick trick. With a defensive a genius. And then Tom Brady won all those fucking Super Bowls because when Tom left, the only person who won a Super Bowl was Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm just fucking saying, Bill. Where you at, bitch? Where you at, Bill? <laughs> Where you at on this one, motherfucker? Tom got one. Your turn. And I'm pretty sure I got you last in this fucking conference. So, go. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it's all about Tua and how Mike McDaniel sets him up to succeed. So two is in his third year now, second playing. He's got yes. two of the best receivers in football at uh, his disposal. F- fucking for sure, because Waddle is coming. Waddle is fabulous, and Tyreek Hill is exactly. And with McDaniel, they've got their four running backs, which McDaniel always features the run. So but two is not going to have to throw. He yeah, he might have to shovel once in a while to uh, Tyreek or something. Jimmy Garoppolo with two <laughs> NFC championships. <laughs> right? I, I don't think uh, two is quite at Jimmy's level. I'm going to say. No. No. He's not, not even. I mean, I'm, I'll i be shocked if he's a starting quarterback in two years. I, I already got the Teddy chance ready. Teddy. Two Teddy. gloves. Two <laughs> gloves. Two <laughs> gloves. Uh, Teddy, two gloves. Whatever you want to call this. Yeah. So, but Miami's roster is stacked. Pretty stacked. Much, pretty much all over the place. Tight end. Four running backs. Gaskins. More, more, yeah. more, um, uh, most jerk. Uh, Edmonds, I mean, from, Edmonds Arizona. from Arizona, who they just, he's the third down back. You look in the back, you go, okay, who's got, we got Gusecki, we got Waddle, we got Tyreek Hill, we got, we got Cedric Wilson, and <laughs> holy shit, that Edmund guy's in the back. Well, all that guy does is cast the fucking, I mean, linebackers are nervous. <laughs> like they got the no fucking clue what's going on. So, yeah, if Tua, if they had a better quarterback, they might go to the Super Bowl. I said that out loud. And I, I didn't mean to. They've been but, one game away from the but playoffs. But if they had fucking Jimmy Garoppolo. We'll trade Teddy for Jimmy. Teddy for Jimmy. Do it right now. Hold on. That's brilliant. Right? That's actually. Hold on. Think about that. If we took Jimmy Garoppolo and we took and put his ass on the Miami Dolphins. Ooh. Holy fucking. There you go. <laughs> right? <laughs> Mike Think McDaniel would go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Maybe he had this plan the whole time. Think McDaniel's Holy our- shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> if Jimmy Garoppolo goes to the Dolphins, you fucking just heard it. I'm gonna I'm posting this video tonight. Because I'm afraid right now. I'm afraid tomorrow. I'm gonna cancel. Ready? Uh, cut. So we can post this. We gotta- because if I wake up tomorrow morning and Jimmy Garoppolo is a dolphin, this is the brain. <laughs> That just discovered that's what just fucking happened. So no Mike is Mike is actually sitting there looking at his roster going, who the fuck would I trade Jeremy Garoppolo for? Um, how about two gloves? How about two gloves? No, 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 fuck that. No, you guys got two, three quarterbacks. No, you get drafted. You're fine. We'll take no. Teddy. Straight up. Teddy for Jimmy. How about Gaskins? I just take Gaskins. Is there a, you don't need anybody on defense. How about a, need to get into that part. How about a guard? Do <laughs> yeah. they have a guard? Ooh, oh, no, shit. Look don't. for a guard on their team. No. Look for a guard with any kind of fucking maybe potential on a third-round pick. No. We want your only potential guard. Their O-line sucks. Their O-line sucks. Yeah. Jimmy's going to be a Miami Dolphin, and we're going to stop now. We're going to restart the video. It's going to be really weird. We're going to start really in the middle. And now we're going to post this right away because actually right now the phone might blip and Jimmy Garoppolo might be a Dolphin. That would be brilliant. That would be brilliant. I don't know. That's crazy. So, Dolphins are set. Yeah, they're going to be I think fun. there's, um, from where they were to now with this guy as a coach, and I told you long ago, we've done podcasts and podcasts, and, and I told you McDaniel is the best thing that happened to Miami. 
Yeah, I'd be uh, I'd be shocked if they don't make it definitely a playoff move. I would assume I'm going to I especially if Jimmy Garoppolo is quarterback. <laughs> that has a guarantee. That's a Super Bowl. That's yeah. a that's a that's an AFC Championship game. Cuz yeah. all Jimmy does is go with that Mike McDaniel guy to the NFC Championships right. or the AFC Championship. What do you want to do? Go to the AFC Championship at least. We should take the three teams that lose before the Super Bowl from the AFC and make them play for a Super Bowl. Jimmy's on the ba- Jimmy's on the Dolphins in three weeks from now. Nice. And the Bengals don't go to the playoffs. The Dolphins do. Wow. Wow. All right. All right. So, oh well, who's not making the playoffs? I don't think this year is Bill Belichick. Oh, he's he's obviously not making the playoffs. No, you think it's without without any talent on the roster and no Brady. And, and senileism, and and, and, he, <laughs> and total lack of cognizance. <laughs> right, he's, he's just drafting. Um, just drafting. I don't know who's the, the, actually the only, <laughs> the only first round draft pick to ever come from the University of Tennessee, Chattanooga. Oh, Cole Strange. Cole Strange. Shout out, baby! Shout out! When you got the Chattanooga, Tennessee, Chattanooga. You never fucking once thought you'd be in the first round as a draft pick. Right? Not even T.O. was first round. He was third round, and he's one of the fucking... He's a Hall of Fame receiver. Cole, if you don't make it to the Hall of Fame as one of the greatest guards of all time, you have failed the University of Tennessee Chattanooga. I'm not fucking being a dick. I'm just being honest. Because uh, Terrell was third round, and he killed it. And there's a lot of fucking pressure on you, bro. Because of Bill. Because oh, he Moccasins. Because Bill like if you're a Tony Mandridge, it's not your fault because you should have been taken in the third round as a project. <laughs> and instead, you're a first round draft pick in New England where they only expect perfection. <laughs> so we're not expecting a lot from Mac Jones and the boys this year? Oh, I'm not blaming him. I, I like Mac Jones. He came in underweight. He looks good. He, came, he he was drafted fat, apparently, and I didn't realize that, and now he looks like Superman. So I'm like, go Mac Jones. Yeah, I mean, he's got a lot of weapons. Baylor receiver? That, that, should, can, that should all be third-string receivers, probably. No, hey, listen, he's won Belichick. If you want to take Belichick and winning Super Bowls, he's won every Super Bowl with a fucking third-string receiver. The one time he had the greatest receiver of all time, he fucking lost. <laughs> so, so that motherfucker. He ran in fact, one Troy guy Brown. played receiver and quarterback because they didn't know what the fuck was going on. And and Troy Brown. Good old Troy Brown. Good old Troy Brown, man. So Troy is the man, and he was never once ever considered a first round receiver. Not scary Probably. at all. Not scary. I'd at be all. like, no, no, yeah, no. I'll guard that guy. Uh, I'll guard Troy Brown. I'll tell. I'll guard Troy. You're a linebacker. Yeah, I'll but guard yeah, Troy. I you know what it. I mean? I got this guy. I got it. So, so nice yeah, I'm guy. not worried. Receivers of Belichick, but the guy who won the Super Bowl, Tom's not there. Tom's not there. Tom's not there. Tom's not there. Yeah, no. No yeah. talent. Aging secondary. I expect a lot of beatings. Ah. <laughs> There's a lot of ass whoopings. There's a lot of ass I like, I like to see the Patriots go 0-8 in their division. And uh, not yeah. because they, not because I, I'm like I'm a sadistic fuck. It's because they deserve it. Yeah. Because they mean, went 8-0 and in the division. So many Fucking well, they won, six, yeah, like six and zero, oh, six and zero oh in the division. Fourteen out of seventeen years in a row, they won the division or something. Yeah, so fuck them. You got zero and six, bitch. Right. The Jets beat you twice. The Bills beat you twice. And the Dolphins beat you twice. Well, the Bills, I think, beat everyone twice. Oh, well, are you ready to talk about them? I was done talking about New England because the rest of them suck. Well, who do they got? The New England's got the one defensive guy coming back. What's oh yeah, name? they got Matt Judon. Matt Judon. He's a stud. Stud. Yep. Mad Judon, shout out, Ben. You're a stud, bro. They still got McCordy and Butler, but like McCordy's a McCordy's an aging an aging stud, but still a fucking stud. Right. Instead of Rivas Island, there's a lot of bridges that <laughs> Yeah. <a lot> of <laughs> bridges, <that's laughs> to the to the island, yeah. Hey listen. Um <laughs> that's a big ass bridge to the island. Uh <laughs> Bill's Bill's number one team in the whole thing. Yeah. No changes. E- they, what did they what did they add? They added that one outside edge dude. Not even big. Who? Deal. Von Miller? No, fuck that. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. <laughs> they already had seven All Pro players on the defense last year who went to the Pro Bowl, and then they added who might be one of the scariest outside edge rushing linebackers of all time. Yes. Not Lawrence Taylor scary. It's two different scary. Not yeah. poke in the eye, smash your face, kill you, kill the guy, the running back, and then break the quarterback's leg, and then what happened? Lawrence. 
You just that was fucking scary, bro. Don't that do that. Don't ever do that again. Scary. That was fucking frightening. Don't do that again. Kind of calm it down a little bit. But Von Miller. Yeah. Nice, adi- nice addition. He's still easy top ten, maybe top five pass rusher in the league. I yes. mean, he won a Super Bowl last year, right? Yeah. Josh Allen's still there? Josh Allen, the defensive end for Jacksonville? Oh, no, the quarterback yeah, from the Buffalo. Quarter, the quarterback from Buffalo. Right. There's two, they're both both very good. Stephon Diggs? Yeah, Diggs is there. Get Cole back. I mean... The- I'm going to save a player from free agency. Cole Beasley? That's what I'm doing. Bring Cole back. Yeah, no, Gabriel Davis has to have a big year, right? No, fuck no. Bring Cole back. <laughs> how many, how many little, how many little, that's like a Julian Edelman, Wes Welker. You need Cole on the team. I mean, they got Crowder and McKenzie. Bring Cole back. I mean, yeah, depth. In August. In August. One don't, year. Don't make him practice. One year, three million. No, he can't practice. That guy's beat to death. <laughs> He's the only guy in the world that'll throw his body into any running car. <laughs> like, if a car's driving down the street, Cole, you go on a little crossing route, and that car's going to hit you. I got you. <laughs> Bad shot. Oh, shit. Fucking broke my shoulder. Where are you going? On third and two, coach. Third and two, coach. Third and two, on, coach. Man. Yeah, so let Cole take the summer off, and then. Oh, you know who they had, though? They added, uh, well, they still have Dawson Knox. Dawson Knox. Oh, great tight end. And then remember uh, O.J. Howard. O.J. Howard. From Tampa, who yeah. should be a stud. I think the, I think, the, I think, I think the two tight end thing is not really hasn't really worked out. Well, I'm, I'm assuming both you're of just, them miss multiple games. And oh, you're going multiple game. You're not going two tight end on the field. Bill checks fucking. No, nah, no, Bills, Bills always run the three. Yeah, the, the eleven or whatever. They yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I'm not, I'm not convinced with that. Knox, that's the guy. No, but Howard and Knox. I mean, that's a good combo. Switch them out every. Uh, not a blocker on the field. That's why they need the other. Not a blocker on the field. Not a blocker on the field. Uh, Josh <laughs> Just Allen. Fucking tight end. Josh Allen, you got to block for yourself. Yeah, he's blocking for yourself, baby. Got it, coach. <laughs> got gotcha. you. I just run you. So it's all he did. You know what though? You know, putting that shoulder, holding that ball, and running through shit that only lasts five years. He's gonna be fun Defense, for five defense years. Defense alignment weigh three hundred and forty pounds. Jordan Davis, tell you right now. Jordan Davis sees Josh Allen, then he runs up the middle. Jordan Davis, hits him. he won't run up the middle again. You're like. <laughs> Holy shit, what the fuck just hit me? A train just hit you. That's why running backs, that's why they make it five years. This running up the middle Josh Allen bullshit, that's why Aaron Rodgers, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady. Culpepper did it. Who? Dante <laughs> Culpepper. I don't know who he is. <laughs> where the fuck is he now? We're not talking about him anymore. Like, if I'm he not... could do it, Josh Allen could do it. That's all I'm saying. But he only did it for eight years. Aaron Rodgers is thinking about his 20 years. And Tom Brady's thinking about his 20 years. Ninth year. And <laughs> his infinite <laughs> career. His infinite career of playing for the Lions in like ten years from now winning two Super Bowls. You know, this 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 Dick. like but but Allen, he's not gonna make it if he thinks he can run fourth and no, no, listen, Tom Brady, that shit was special when he ran. Aaron Rodgers was cool for a while, but don't do it anymore, baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I, Jim, when Jimmy Grapple, remember that one time Jimmy went to the outside and then he and he, <laughs> and he stepped back and he slammed his shoulder into that guy and then they said, Jimmy, wasn't even a touchdown. You can play next year again. He said, What do you mean? They said, You fucked up your shoulder when you turned back in and you tried to smash your shoulder into that. See, stupid shit. So listen, Josh Allen, that has to end. He has to just become a. Which I think he'll be fine with. His arm is. Where's, you know, who, you know who Josh Allen reminds me of? Andrew Luck. Where's he at now? He's skinny. Looks good. He's a, a architect. <laughs> he lasted eight motherfucking years. He said, nope, now nah, I'm smarter than this. In fact, I, I came from Stanford. I am so much smarter than this, I'll just own my own architect firm and make millions of dollars. Did I tell you Emmett Smith's kid is uh, going to be a junior at Stanford? They won't be on TV because no one's going to hear about the Pac-10, but he is a junior, supposed to be a starting running back. <laughs> He's a bench warmer. It's... Nope. He's going to be Heisman. I, just, I hope he makes it to the NFL... He's Why? really going to be the Heisman? Sure. Put triple parlay. He'll be better than his dad. His dad at the, the offensive line for the Cowboys wasn't in existence when he showed up. He'd be a five-year player. we all be fucking wishing him good luck with his gold fucking watch. I don't think... I, don't, I never once ever thought that... I, I fucking hate... I, like, when you... Look, sorry. Walter Payton, Barry Sanders... Billy Sims, Earl Campbell, real fucking man, uh, John Allstott, <laughs> Emmett Smith ran through holes that a car could drive through for ten fucking years. So I'm sorry. I just Walter Payton, Barry Sanders, 
Adrian Peterson. Him it's fucking. Do you, you hear Adrian Peterson's fighting Le'Veon Bell in Hope boxing? Oh, he kicks his fucking ass. <laughs> he beats his ass. Oh, he beats the shit up. No, I'm sorry. I'm just saying that I just hate the Emmett Smith comparison because I just hate that a guy that ran through holes that this old, slow white guy still today, at this present moment in time, could run through and get five and a thousand every season. Well, I was just going to Stanford just so I could get to Georgia. Oh, fuck Georgia. Yeah? Yeah, go for it. I love it. Yeah. Are we not saving a player from Georgia? We are saving a player from Georgia, but he doesn't play anymore. You want to say, Herschel? <laughs> Listen, bro, end it now. I don't want to tell you. I just, I want what I want you to do. Herschel, who? Let Let's give the fans what they want. What <laughs> is happening with Herschel Walker? <laughs> Walker. Okay, so he's running for uh, Republican Senate for Georgia, and uh, I don't think he knows what happens when you get to the big leagues of politics. You know when they take your and they run you to the ground and they rub your face in dirt. Oh, and, and they pick you up and they laugh at you and they rub your face back in dirt. Right. And they pick you up and laugh and you go, "How many kids you got?" Ninety-five. And they rub your face back in dirt. <laughs> and they pick you back up and they go, "Herschel, this is the end of your life. Nobody ever buy a car from you ever again because you can't be a car salesman." You know what I mean? And then they put you, and then they. Oh man, we got to save Herschel. He's actually talking about how China's air is now our air and we have to clean it, and then it goes back to China, and then they send us back dirty air. That's not true. Doesn't work that. It would yeah. take too long to get here. Could be a fucking Not big giant true. circle. It would see a lot of other things. He's like, he's like a flat earther. He's like Kyrie running for like Senate and stuff. Like you can't trust people like that. Like come on. And he's lied about everything. He said he was this valedict Victorian in his high school. He was a cop. He, he was a cop. Freeze! Nobody move. Nobody move. <laughs> liar, liar, liar. Pants on fire. So Herschel, get out while you can. Get out while you can, bro. If you ever see this fucking video and you don't want to be embarrassed in this whole deal. And we'll hashtag him. We'll hashtag. Him. Listen, I I like you. You were part of the biggest trade of retardedness ever. Ever. I right. mean, like one team got a lot, and another yeah. team got you. He went from yeah, the worst trade in Minnesota history to possibly the most embarrassing thing he's gonna do for the <laughs> for the next foreseeable future. Anyway, don't be a part of two fucking weird things, Herschel. Now, go do your sit-ups, do your push-ups. A thousand a day, thousand each a day. one. We'll watch the video again. Write a book. It was impressive. Make your money. Take care of those kids that you've never talked to. Right. Or you sick fuck. <laughs> or hide somewhere. I got two kids. I talk to them every fucking day, Herschel. Every fucking day. Do it. Do it. You bastard. And, do me a favor. <laughs> don't <laughs> get why, out. Why are we saving someone we don't care for? I don't know. Oh, we're just... Right. I know, as a football player, I love you. And I'm saving you because you're a player. At the That's same right. time, I really just wanted to talk about you on this <laughs> show. Because <laughs> that's funny. I mean, it is funny. I mean, so we saved you, Herschel. Don't right. go into politics anymore. We can't save the system. But we can, save we can at ass. least we save, can save you. The system's corrupt, and it's been that way for 2,000 years. It went from... And if he wins, we'll know for sure. We'll know for sure. <laughs> Actually, if you win, you'll be back after you lose the next time. Just like Donnie will be back in two more years. No, no. Because the system is corrupt and fucked up. That's all I got to say. Um, you got any... Uh, wait a minute. We saved Herschel. You got any shout-outs? Because I got one. I got a couple. You go first. All right. You go first. My first shout-out goes out to the Penguins, who had a very <laughs> awesome week. We re-signed out... Yep. <laughs> The Penguins of Hockey fame. Penguins of Hockey fame, yes. Not the oh, the, oh, you mean Pittsburgh Penguins. Pittsburgh Penguins, of course. You know, we re-signed our boy, Latang. We got Malkin back. We that's, that's why we have this, her this horrible blue fucking thing between the white and the green, because apparently we said... You have, we, to, you have to change it up or they won't know we didn't do it three weeks ago. That is totally the same hard. Place. That is really hard to do when you're looking at yourself on a computer. <laughs> is the point of something. <laughs> so yes, that's why that's there. Because Latang's back. So shout out to the Penguins Brass for getting Malcolm back, for getting Latang back, for signing Ricky Rackle, P.O. Joseph coming back. Um, honestly, we could have gotten rid of Malcolm. I wouldn't have been too mad. You wanted to. 
I kind of want to. You did. You told me that two months ago. I hope we get rid of Malcolm. But he's back. Now you're now you're putting your arm on my shoulder, going, "Hey, I'm glad we got Malcolm back." So he can drive me nuts, and then I can love him because he wins games. What are you talking about? I thought you wanted to get rid of Malcolm. I did, but now (laughs) it doesn't matter. Now doesn't matter. Now we're good. He's back. He's back. You know what I mean? It's like when we 86 people from the Good Time Tavern in Livermore, California. They don't come back. They don't come back. <laughs> only one to come back is Sean McPeak. He's the only guy to ever come back. He really donated a lot of subscriptions and likes. To the Good Time Tavern. Yeah, and the FB and Goob show. So, Tons of subscriptions. So we let him back. Um, but yeah, so the Penguins. Good job. Good week for the Pens. Let's move on to... Oh, well, I got... Uh, the, the only guy that deserves a shout out is Bill Richardson. Many months, uh, ma- a month and a half ago, we said go save Brittany Grimer. So why is she in a Russian prison? We got diplomats. We got we we got people rubbing palms and greasing them. We got all this bullshit, and she's still in jail. Uh, uh, Bill Richards, he's the uh, ex um, or former governor of Mexico, New Mexico. That is correct. That is, he is heading to Russia. He is. He's got some skills. He's, he's uh, got, and I'm pretty sure Brittany's coming back. Bill, go get him. Bill's or on go the get move. her. And, and Bill's this, on the move. And this is important too because Bill's on the move because Brittany pled guilty. She pled guilty for, for, for a drug mule. I right. mean, basically. But but her, but her uh, defense is I didn't mean to do it. Which in, in my uh, <laughs> in my experience. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. Rarely works as a. Well, what did she have? An eighth? Uh, she had like a, a gram of wax. She had a gram of wax. Something like that, or something in a vape pen. Something in a vape pen. <laughs> right, not a lot, but illegal. Uh, but listen, this is this is. I why tell she you did stories, it. but nobody wants to know my stories. But Brittany, sorry, baby, because I had just that shit in my pocket. Right. So while <laughs> I mean, pre, I... pre nine eleven though, baby, I'm sorry. It was just, you know, different days. Right. I don't believe. That in her plan as much as, you know, maybe they'll take it easy on me. Because, I mean, let's check it out. You could face 10 years in jail, which they've been saying all the time. In or a Russian jail? Russian penitentiary. Or you could also get a $5,000 ruble fine. Which is like I'll, 85 bucks. I'll take the $5,000 ruble bucks. fine yeah. for, uh, for the win, Pat. So That's what I'm going to do on that one, Pat. So since Russia courts, they just convict everybody pretty much anyway. Why not? So she's it's going. All she's going guilty. with the. Uh, I'm guilty, but really sorry. Like you know, sorry. Like, Instead really of sorry. paying eighty five dollars, she wrote the guilty. I'm very sorry. Well, guilty. That's the least she can get for being guilty. Otherwise, trial. They would have had done all the stuff, and they would have made her. They would have probably prosecuted. We would have Navy anyway. SEAL Team Six her out of before trial. We are sending Bill Richardson. Richardson. I know. I'm shouting <laughs> Bill out right now. That's right. Bill has listened to the FB and Goob show and he's gone. They're fucking right. We got to get Brittany out of this shit hole. This, right. re- this is embarrassing right now. This is embarrassing that this girl is. So we got to get with the Ukraine war going on. We should just go get her. I'm telling you, the uh, if the Ukraine war wasn't going on and she was smuggling drugs or had a vape pen in her pocket, ah, fuck, you're on your own. Course. But with this dumb shit going on, with these retards doing this stupid shit, no, we just get to go get her without us. And then listen. Either, listen, honestly, just give her us back. Just give her back. There's other fucking options. Just give us her back. Because we don't want ESPN running stories on this bitch anymore. So can you just give us, everybody's starting to feel sorry for her. Give her back. Here's some cash, because since yeah, you're out of it. Whatever, yeah, you have no money. Since Here's a dollar fifty-seven. Since your ruble is worth... Uh, if ESPN shows another Brittany Grimer story, I'll give you a ten fucking grand. Give me this girl back, because the the we're, now we're all starting to go. Oh shit, Brittany Grimer. If being Coop show was right, I'm just saying. I mean, we only state the obvious with you know some flair and some less flair type. Yeah, stuff. you know we got our moments. Yeah. Speaking of moments, I you got, got anybody else? To I say? got one more shout out. Fuck man, how many shout outs you got today? Just one. All right, do it. All right, so I want to shout out the Cincinnati Reds for. <laughs> Committing to the embarrassment that oh. is Major League Baseball. Yes, since this we, is totally embarrassing. Since we started off with, you know, the Dodgers, you know, canning the, not canning, but banning the peanut guy. We're so we started with that. Anymore. And now Cincinnati has allowed a uh, a picnic exercise champion, one of the Frisbee guys, one of Joe B's homies, 
I believe his name is Ronnie <laughs> Wysocki. I saw this story on Facebook. They call him Saki Bomb. Saki Bomb, yeah, yeah. That's probably the only cool thing about this whole story. So Cincinnati, get your shit together. They throw yeah. frisbees they instead throw of frisbees, not baseballs, bro. Bologna sandwiches. Come on. Uh, actually, if you if you only have enough fans there that are frisbee golfer fans, it's probably it's probably time to trade that fucking pitcher. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey Joby, comment. Let us know if Cincinnati's a hotbed. Of uh, frisbee golfers. Yeah, we want to know that. Is there are a lot of frisbee golfers in fucking um, in uh, in uh, Cincinnati. And speaking of Joe B, I'd like to throw some shout outs to our fans, man. Yeah, let's do it, dude, man. We got we're up to ninety seven subscribers. We're three away from hundred. I'd like to shout out those ninety seven people. First ninety seven, we appreciate you. First ninety seven, three from hundred. Man, I'm waiting for those three to show up. <clears throat> um. Which is a, which which pretty much means it's about time to subscribe and like all these goddamn videos. All of them. All of them. Just just go back and beat the algorithm. We need your help. Yeah, be, <laughs> yeah, because you know apparently if you don't push that button and do something else, not everybody can watch us, and I want everybody to see us. So if you push the subscribe button and the like button, it will just keep bouncing through this stupid ass math problem. I and think it also feeds babies somewhere too. Does not feed. Babies. <laughs> Does not. It just lets people watch our sports show. And I think if you like sports, you probably should give us a shot. Yeah, sounds good to me, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's I think you should give us a shot. So like, subscribe. Other than that, peace. Peace out. Peace out. Goob out. Goob out. Oh, I like that.